Indianapolis, but yesterday afternoon, late the afternoon, with three minutes of practice remaining, his 89 Lola coming out of turn four, tags the outside retaining wall, will come ricocheting across, and Jordan just gets the car turned so he doesn't hit the inside wall head on. He glances off that and comes to rest against the side of the pit wall at the upper end of pit road. Now, the good news is Bernard Jourdain survived that crash, but I'm taking a look at this 89 Lola here in the garage. It's what's left of this Lola powered by a Buick. Here's the front part of the car where he crashed the outside and, again, the inside part of the retaining wall. And he came to rest up against the end of pit road, and it's this honeycomb car carbon fiber chassis, carbon fiber tub, that saved Bernard Jourdain. Now, he was taken to Methodist Hospital there where he was admitted to intensive care last night, but the good news, Bernard Jourdain is watching today. He will be moved from intensive care to a private room. We are told he has a cracked rib on the left side, did have a puncture in his left foot, otherwise will be okay. Let's bring in team manager for Andale Racing, Mike Hull. And Mike, what are the plans now? Bernard, I'm told, may be released uh, tomorrow? Um, they've told us tomorrow about noon he'll be, be released from the hospital. And uh, uh, we don't know what they'll do as far as releasing him to drive here. That's a whole other story. Um, he's, he's beat up pretty badly, but, but we're happy that, that he can get out of the hospital so soon, especially with what you've seen here. Now, what would be the plans if, the, the big if game, if he were released to drive by Henry Bach here, the track uh, physician, what would you be able to do? Both cars are gone. Yeah, our, our team doesn't have race cars now. Uh, so if we can do anything with anybody, the earliest he could be in a car would be somebody's car that's already qualified a car on carburation day that's been done here before. We're not going to rule that as being a non-possibility, but uh, uh, that would be the only thing we could do. He's probably not physical, physically able to drive yet, as we know, and probably wouldn't be till Tuesday or Wednesday. What a story. Last week, Bernard Jourdain was the car, the next car to qualify on our qualifying show a week ago, just two minutes away from qualifying, and he would have been in the field last week. And In fact, he would have been in England today at Silverstone in a Group C race instead of back here at the racetrack. But uh, a tough break, and Bernard Jourdain, I'm sure, will be back in the future. Another young driver standing by, hoping to make his way in the Indianapolis 500 field, a third-generation young man, Billy Vukovic, standing by with our Gary Lee.